Hi guys. So I had a bread idea recently. I want to make a sweatshirt. I want to make a retro video game patch sweatshirt. I haven't seen a video on this. I haven't seen a sweatshirt like this. I randomly thought this up like a year ago, bought all the supplies, and then did nothing with them. I have no idea how to do this and that's why I haven't even attempted yet. So we're gonna wing it today. I bought probably 300 patches. Mario themed. We got you some Pokemans. Bowser. <laughs> we got Atari. Then I got Doom. Pac-Man. Majora's Mask. Another set of Mario ones. Little arcade token slots. And then more Pokemans. That's what we're working with. I bought two sweatshirts and then two more because I didn't like the original two. And then I stared at them for a year. I need to find an iron. I've never used an iron before. I don't know if that surprises you or not. I've never touched an iron, so this will be fun. So I, I, I'm just gonna wing it with you today. There's no planning, there's no video tutorial. I don't even know how to turn the iron on. Do you fill it with water? I don't know. We're gonna figure that out. So let's do this. Okay, first thing, I need an iron and a table. <gasps> table. 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 Just so you can see what I'm doing right now. Just so you can get a sneak peek at how everything's going so far. It's 80 degrees. We have an outfit change. And this is where I'm stuck. This is this is my life right now. Here, just, just so you can see what I'm doing with. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, this fell on me. You know, I need to get it back up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Woo! That. Take that. Focus? Can you focus on me? Thanks. Thanks for focusing. Nice, thank you. Assembly complete. Okay, onward. I got an iron. It's not mine, it's my parents. I'm borrowing it. Uh, it's probably from the 1980s. I have no idea how to use it, so we're gonna have to use Google. Okay, let's use Google. Today I'm going to give you the complete beginner's guide on how to use the steam function in an iron so that you can iron your clothes. That leads us to number two. Figure out what you're working with. How to apply iron on patches. You will need ironing board. You will not be needing steam or water, so make sure that is turned off. I don't need water? I don't need water! Let's go! Now this says gamer, like bringing your gamer chair on over to DIY. Okay, I have the iron plugged in and it's heating up, I think, I don't know. Okay, supplies. I feel arts and craftsy. I feel like I can do this. I'm living my best Martha Stewart life. Does Martha Stewart even craft or does she just, she probably just cooks. Anyway, this is our sweatshirt. Which one did I open? Okay. This is our sweatshirt, it's a champion sweatshirt, just white, just typical sweatshirt. My plan, so we can map this out before we start, is to just cover this white sweatshirt in a bunch of patches, just random, willy-nilly, all over the place, no rhyme or reason, no uniformity, just everywhere. I want a random patch here, random patch there, make one crooked, make one upside down. I think that'll make me the most happy when looking at this sweatshirt. I don't know, I've never worked with patches before. I don't know why I thought this was gonna be a good idea, but I did. And you might think, this sweatshirt's gonna be ugly as all hell. And you know what, you're probably right. But, after spending this much money on all the supplies and holding on to it for a year, it's gotta be done. It just has to. I need to get this done. I need to do things and get them done. Just living my crafty PTA mom life right now. Catch me at the bake sale, cooking up the finest cupcakes for your son or daughter. It says it's good for about 25 washes. I'm gonna be honest, I'll probably never wash it. Super Mario 2, baby! If there's no Cubone in here, I write, we have Cubone. There is our pile of patches that are going to be going on the sweatshirt. Okay, I am actually nervous. I could smell the heat coming off of the iron and I just feel like I'm gonna mess this up. Set iron to medium high heat. Lay garment on hard surface. Place patch face up wherever. Do I even need the ironing board? Can I just use the plastic table? Oh, whatever. 
Please patch the logo up wherever you'd like. Cover with a piece of fabric. This one guy said do it with a paper. Uh, apply firm pressure straight down for 45 seconds. Or should I use fabric? I have fabric. This is an old dress that I no longer like. It's black and I just want to get rid of it. And you know what? Let's use this instead. Great frosted flakes are more than good. They're great. Starting with Yoshi and I'm going to put them here and we're going to see how this goes. Pressure. 45 seconds. Four, five, six, 32, 33, 34. Do I touch it? No, it's probably hot. You're an idiot. Don't touch it. Okay, um, turn garment inside out and then heat the, whoo, dash hot balls. Okay, and then 30 seconds to the back side. 11, 12, 29, and 30. Okay. I think we did one patch. That makes me so nervous, so I hope we did a good job. He's so cute! Oh my god, this sweatshirt's gonna be hot fire! Wait, I'm actually getting excited. Why am I doing a good job? Why is this looking good? Oh, I kind of like that. Oh, that looks good. We're doing that. I like that. I like that look a lot. We're going with it. Alright, let's do it again. Wait, this is kind of fun. Alright, now I'm having fun. Now I'm getting creative. I'm having fun. Air care. Air care. Air care. Oh. This isn't happening. Okay, we're about to see our first mistake. Who let my dumb ass use a black cloth for a white sweatshirt? Just, just, I know, just, just wait, just see this. Not only did I get a black stain of an iron just imprinted into a white sweatshirt, but if you notice, this is where I was holding the iron. This is the patch. <laughs> So if you're wondering how this is all going, this, this is how this is going. <laughs> like there is no covering it. Like we're screwed. Yo, I think if I cover it with doom, that's like kind of funny, right? Cause it's like you're doomed. Or <laughs> we could game over it. Game over. All right. I think here's a good point. I'll check back in with you when we get further into this. Cause this is going to take a while. I'm sorry, but you can't come in. I'm using a hot iron. You gotta stay outside. I know I'm sorry. I love you. Aww. Okay, but like why is this turning out so cute? And look, I covered I covered the black iron mark kind of. You can kind of see it here. But for the most part, I covered it, kind of. But like, why is this looking adorable? Oh, his feet are kind of coming up and off already, shit. Okay, well besides that, it's looking pretty cute. And we got Nuggy wanting in so bad. Tell me you have a cat with separation anxiety without telling me you have a cat with separation anxiety. Wait, look at it. Look at this, it's turning out like kinda sick, no? All right, so I did the front so far, and there's the pocket, it ends there, and then this is a sleeve. So I have the front and one sleeve done, and I, I don't know, I think it's looking kinda dope. Hi, how's your night? Morning, day. Oh, you haven't been ironing on patches for three hours? That's weird. Hm, we're almost done, I think. Oh yeah, my timer's about to go off, and I'll show you how far we've gone. Look at it! Okay, so this is the back. I know the back looks kind of wild, but look at the front. Tell me this isn't cool. Tell me this isn't cool. You see me rolling up like, hey, what's up, you gamer? <laughs> look at the way this is looking. 
I feel like because of the patches, it's gonna like move awkwardly on me, but I don't even care. I think it looks awesome. This is cool. I only have the inside done, so I don't have the outside here done yet, so that's next. That part is next. Okay. Okay, it is now 2.10 a.m. and I am officially finished. It took me around five hours to film this video, but probably three hours to actually glue on all the patches, or I guess heat on all the patches, so I'm ready to reveal it. I mean, like I kind of did the thing. I kind of did it. All right, let me try it on. That's the video. Thank you guys very much for watching. And if you're interested in more IRL-y kind of content, stuff that's not on Twitch or not on stream, let me know. I'm down to do more stuff like this. If you have any suggestions for videos, like if you want a room tour, or if you want, I don't know, me walking Nuggy out in my backyard, just, just let me know. And we'll do that. So, uh, thank you for watching. Oh, and I also made Reed one as well, so there's that. Okay, bye!